Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. And Joy and I go. And today we've landed right here in St. Augustine, Florida. Now whenever we're traveling, there's one attraction we always try to see if they have, and that's a wax museum. Yep. And behind us right now isn't just any wax museum, it is America's first wax museum. It's Potter's Wax Museum. It was established right here in 1949. It's an old wax museum since 1949. That is pretty old. And what I like is, a lot of the figures, they actually go to the British Museum and research, and they're made over there, and then they come over here. So, I think Fancy. it's cool. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go check it out. And it's in this, this old drugstore from 1886, which is also interesting. I think that's actually included in the admission with going to Potter's Museum. Not positive, but there's only one way to see. So, step right up, let's go for this ride. What are we looking at? I can't, I can't see. So is this a good wax museum? You excited for it? You're, it's not wax though. It's metal. I think the wax inside. Let's sit in. <laughs> now let me tell you a little bit about Potter's Wax Museum. This is America's very first wax museum. It opened in 1949, right here in St. Augustine, by our founder, Mr. George Potter. That's for those of you who thought you were coming to a Harry Potter museum. I am so sorry to tell you <laughs> that it's not where you're at. All right. Now, Mr. Potter opened with one intention. Actually, two. First one was to entertain you. Okay, at Richard City. But he also was a history buff. Loved learning history. Loved passing it on. So he brought in historical figures. Grew this museum over 30 years until he was the second largest wax museum in the world had over 300 figures now unfortunately upon his death his family started selling them off and when it got down to a little less than half of his original collection one of his curators actually bought the rest of them and moved the museum down and reopened it like a block and a half from the original location, which actually happened to be at A1A Elworks, the original one. But anyway, he was ordering them from a company in England and putting them on a commercial air flights, for airlines, bought them seats and had them brought over. They used human hair for the hair, head and the face, put it in one strand at a time. The eyes and the teeth are medical prosthetics, gives it that very real look versus being just painted on. Now, it can take that artist anywhere from 300 to 500 working hours to do one head. And it can take anywhere from six months to a year to have one figure ready to go out on the floor. Now, I told you we're doing them now. We've got this great art department that learned how to make them. They're making them on the premises. And like right now, they are working to add to our, his, our presidential lineup. So we are back to adding what Mr. Potter wanted to do, the historical figures. Now when I tell you the historical figures, these are the people that throughout the ages have contributed something to get us to where we're at. It's funny that the first two wax figures we have are actually other wax figure makers. We have Josephine Tussauds, great great granddaughter of Marie Tussauds. Her wax museum is in Hot Spring, Arkansas. And Louis Tussauds, we know his wax museums, they're owned by the Ripley's company now. We went to one of them in Grand Prairie, Texas, and in Niagara Falls, Canada. She was saying how you used to have someone, a curator, take you around. Not anymore. Now for $5, you get the companion guide that you can walk around with yourself and learn about all the figures. I'm trying to figure out what crushed penny to get. We get just Potter. Elvis is a classic. We have Jack Sparrow. There is a pirate museum here in St. Augustine, or Harry Potter. This, I think I'm just gonna go for the name. What's in a name? A lot. Let's get you guys in here and see if you get this. Visit the wax museum. Come on, Dan, let's take a little bit out of it. Alright. Alright, so here's the Sassai tour. So you know right where we're going to go. Oh, okay. Slime. Okay, gotcha. A little off cue, but crushed penny for the collection. Makes me happy. Oh, we have Maleficent. I mean, Angelina Jolie. I feel if it was like this in the cartoon, Prince Philip might not have went after uh, Sleeping Beauty Aurora there. He might have just went with Angelina Jolie. Yo, Adrian. I went crazy and I got a gun and a knife. Now I'm Rambo. Yo. We have the Harry Potter section of Potter Wax Museum. And Dar 
Joy, what, what are you taking off your shoe for? To get the, the VR sock. No, no, it's just wax. He won't, can't be free. He won't leave. Even though he looks sad. Free Dobby, give me your sock. Onto the lightning bolt. Harry Potter, is that you? All right, I, I guess that's the celebrity wing. Now we're getting to more classic. Well, one more celebrity. Will Rogers, the American Cowboy. That's crazy. His cause of death was his, 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 an airplane crash in Alaska. That is crazy. I did not know he. A lot of famous people die in airplane crashes. Yeah. They have to stop giving celebrities airplanes. I think. I think that. Do you know who this is? He, he was born in Mountaintop, Tennessee. He killed everyone and he was only three. Yep, that's Davy, Davy Crockett. I like Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier, just hanging out at the bar. We have our photo op here. Remember, kids, don't play with guns. This is a whole I want all your whiskey and ride. I know when I said freeze, nobody move. This isn't what I meant. You, you could move to get me the whiskey and the rock. No? They're really good at this. This thing must not be the first tickle. <laughs> From one coonskin cap to another, Daniel Boone, American folk hero. How many guns does this woman need? She already got one. And I always hear, Annie, get your gun. It's Annie Oakley. And Buffalo Bell. I like this museum because it has a lot of historic people that. A lot of them we don't see in other wax museums. Like this is Louis Pasteur, French chemist and microbiologist who created the first vaccine against rabies and anthrax. Oh cool, you also did the invention of the pasturation. Oh, I like you because I enjoy drinking milk and I don't like getting sick from it. Marie Curie, you know, she's the predecessor to all those superheroes we know nowadays because she worked with radioactivity. Nightingale, let me introduce you to Nightingale, Florence Nightingale, English social reformer and founder of modern nursing. I like how they're doing this. We have the Patriots and the Founding Fathers in one display. People like in the back, standing tall, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Ben Franklin, but opposite, since these people were the founding fathers, and a lot of them became presidents, we have a lot of American presidents and first ladies. From Lincoln, Teddy Roosevelt, Kennedy. I like they actually got George Bush's smirk right. Alexander Graham Bell, inventor of the telephone. Can you hear me now? He didn't like the joke. Ah, Charles Darwin, Origin of the Species. Thomas Edison, Inventor. Do you want to see what I like about this Thomas Edison compared to others? Edison created like those wax records and there he's holding one of the records. We're in the music section so we have people like Chopin, Wagner, you know, Elvis. But what's cool is Interesting, being able to play music by the wax figures that we're actually looking at. Look, Wagner, he must have not been rich because he was Baroque. His music style, Baroque. Ha ha ha. President Jefferson Davis, President of the Confederate States. But he wants to teach us history about what English king had six wives, two of whom he had beheaded. I think it's King Henry the Eighth. Yeah, I am. Oh, Henry the Eighth. I am. I am. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yep, it is. Okay. Imagine if we got to see this in real life. Ray Charles playing the piano with Beethoven. That would have been a cool thing to see. Joy pressed Beethoven so she could hear "Ode to Joy." <laughs> Thanks, Beethoven. Thanks. It's Britney Spears. 
American pop star. We have some Union soldiers and Confederate, not just any soldiers, we have people like General Grant, and then over here we have Lee and Stonewall Jackson. We're in the St. Augustine section, we have one of the Seminole leaders. Then Ponce de Leon and Pedro Menendez, the guy who actually built that fort where the fan of youth is. What German born Jewish physicist developed the theory of relativity? I'm gonna ask my wife because she's my relative. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, relative. <laughs> it's Albert Einstein. Einstein. Which American sharpshooter? Female American. Uh, Annie, get your gun. Annie Oakley. Yep. Who is it, Joy? Who is it? Not me. We'll just think. Famous pirate. Since we're in St. Augustine. It's the one Jack Sparrow. That's going to be Johnny Depp. Good versus evil. I think this is just how war should be fought. Just put the leaders of one side up. And then the leaders of the other side up, and they just fist fight it out. It would save a lot of innocent little young men's lives and young women's lives. My theory. I love the effects with like FDR that the cigar actually looks lit. Now, now we have Mark Twain, Samuel Clemens, all the famous literature authors. We're in their section, I guess. William Shakespeare, Hans Christian Andersen, you know, he wrote The Little Mermaid. Robert Stevenson, a man with a mustache that good, has to be the man that wrote Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Treasure Island. My favorite author, Ernest Hemingway, I love He's just here in his short sleeve shirt when all these other guys are in these dapper suits. So I would hang out in Key West too. Walt Disney, the man whose company made The Little Mermaid into an animated movie. Joan of Arc, just imagine, executed by the English. She was 19 years old. Alfred the Great, Edward of Woodstock, aka the Black Prince. Richard the Lionheart and John of England, John the First. Martin Luther King Jr. I like his backdrop is a nice photo of Martin Luther King Jr. One of the coolest wax figures you've ever seen. We have Dr. Jekyll and as the head spins around on the other side we have Mr. Hyde. It's Mr. Hyde. He's coming to get you. Michelangelo. I see they didn't have you paint their ceiling here. No, no 16 chapel to me. Rembrandt to Leonardo da Vinci to Thomas Gainsborough. I guess we're in the, uh, the famous artist wing of this museum the chamber of horrors okay can't even can't even keep up she loves the horror movies welcome to my boiler room oh well, thank you freddie for having us oh wait this is the chamber of horrors oh you're not just showing us around oh, never, never mind frankenstein's monster it's alive it's alive the creature from the Black Lagoon. What's interesting is, we got like Chamber of Horrors horror movies, and then we go left, and Sim Jackson, 1906 St. Augustine, was sentenced to hang for the brutal murder of his wife. But it's interesting the uh, the, the the actual like. Here we have another one. Andrew Branson, 1864, St. Augustine. Some scary stuff here. He was asked by doctors to be part of a medical experiment. 
So he was he, he used hand signals to let the doctors know how long a human can remain conscious while being hung. It took 14 minutes for Sin Jackson to die. That's terrible. That's crazy. Yeah. Like it's horrible that that happened, but it's crazy to be like, yeah, sure, fine, I'll be part of this experiment. Yeah. Watch out, Joy. There's a creature coming to get you. Herman Munster. Not scary enough to make it into the Chamber of Horrors, but he'll welcome you as you go in. And then the Star Wars area. You never go wrong with some Star Wars. I don't know how waxy Darth Vader and C-3PO are, but we do have your turn. Uh, look, we got pod racing Darth Vader next to grown-up Darth Vader. I love all these faces, sometimes you don't know them, but you could always recognize Hitchcock. And then I love like, like royalty, 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 Jack Sparrow. I love, we have all these random heads starting with Alice in Wonderland. Then we have John Travolta and Nicolas Cage from the movie Face Off. I love. Elaine Bennis from Seinfeld. They don't have the actress name, but Elaine Bennis. Andrew Johnson, Jerry Seinfeld, Sandra Bullock, Sleeping Beauty laying down. Johnny Depp is the Mad Hatter. And like they said, they now make them in-house. We actually see where they make some of their wax figures. This is Johnny Depp is the Mad Hatter. Up top we see how they make the clay figure, the mold, the wax casting, then when they start painting it. A bunch of more heads. Henry VIII, he was, he was. He was married to the woman next door. He was also married many times before. Find it talking how time to dress. A lot of the clothings and costumes were made by a company called BJ Simmons and Company. And that the outfits they have here are worth over a million dollars. Marie Antoinette and Louis the Sixteenth. Are you ready? I always hate that. Museum exit. At least we get to see George and Kramer as we walk out. Cosmo Kramer and George Costanza. His thumbs are up. Is he getting ready to do the Elaine dance? I'm writing the Jungle Book. And once they left Potter's Wax Museum, it was a good time. Before making their way to the jungle, they wanted me to remind you, if you like this video, you should subscribe to their channel. Make sure you hit the like button, ring that bell, share with your friends, leave a comment and all those fun things. Now, let me get back to my writings. It was great, I know. I had a great time here at Potter's Wax Museum. Yeah, for a small little wax museum, it was awesome. Uh, more figures than I actually was expecting to see. Any wax museum that has a Chamber of Horrors is good in my opinion. That was great. I loved it. Um, I wasn't knowing what to actually expect when I heard oldest wax museum. Figures were cool. I like that a lot of the figures you don't see in a lot of the other wax museums it did have a little touch of Hollywood, but it wasn't focused on that, which made me really enjoy this. So I think I can pull this one. He's going to hang around. I'm going to get going. So Potter's Wax Museum, been there, done that. Remember, folks, safe travels. Good eats. And live life.